And we're live. It's Adam Robinson, founder and CEO of Retention.com. I competed in the email marketing space for a long, long time. Eight years, maybe 10. It did not go well. However, two companies shaped how I will forever look at business going forward. The two companies are MailChimp and Klaviyo. Why MailChimp? Because MailChimp gained a monopoly level position, bootstrapped an SMB with this incredible freemium play that they used to wipe out the incumbent, Constant Contact. It was incredible to watch. What's even more impressive, in my opinion, is that Klaviyo, in that environment, in an age where MailChimp had a monopoly, was able to ultimately gain monopoly share of the Shopify universe. Some attribute it to this fateful day where MailChimp and Shopify broke up. I do not. I believe that the full credit is due to Klaviyo, their incredible founders, to the product, the team, and the agency ecosystem that they built over the last 11 years. I hope to emulate that playbook with retention.com and end up at a similar position in the Shopify ecosystem as Klaviyo has. So what are the six things I admire most about Klaviyo? One, they did this killer high-low play, meaning they had a product that was very easy to consume at the low end, but they were building features for the high end. And I loved about their pricing, how they just went in between MailChimp and Bronto. Bronto was an enterprise solution that was like very expensive. They just went the pricing right in the middle of those two, twice the price of MailChimp, basically. It's amazing. Uh, this is a huge one for Klaviyo. They went deep, not wide. It was an era of broad email marketing products. All these platforms wanted to serve everybody. They wanted to keep adding features that would get other TAMs or whatever. Klaviyo, they went as deep as possible into this one type of user, e-commerce, specifically Shopify originally. I love this. This is niching down. This is what I think is super important in the beginning. And man, they've gotten different user types within e-commerce, but these guys have stayed true to this. It has been amazing to watch how deep and not wide Klaviyo has gone. I want to do the same thing. Number three, they did an incredible job at cultivating an agency ecosystem that is diehard for them. They know the HubSpot people there in Boston. I believe they took HubSpot's playbook and they instructed agencies on how to add a revenue line to their business. They went to Shopify agencies who were building websites. They said, you should do email marketing. Here are the three plans you should charge. Here are the services you should provide. Here's how you bill for it. And they have built incredible brand loyalty that is responsible, I hear, for a third of their inbound leads. This is amazing. We are trying to do this at retention.com. We just hired Alex Lossoff, who built the Yapo program to do it at our shop. Agency ecosystem for Shopify Plus specifically is incredible. Klaviyo pioneered it. I love it they had a freemium light product. We can't do this. I've tried it before. A product really doesn't work for the smaller stores. Hopefully we'll sell something that does work for them someday. I don't know what it's gonna be, but I love how you could just start using Klaviyo for free and get in there and see all the features and everything. This is another massive one that I think is totally unappre unappreciated. These guys ran a profitable business for many years. I love that. If you see my content, you know that I love that. I want to stay profitable. I don't know if they're still profitable or not. Maybe they are, maybe they're not. doesn't matter. I still think if you started this way, you have it in you to make responsible decisions and not grow too much faster than your revenue. Maybe I'll talk to the founder someday and they'll tell me whether they're profitable or not. I don't know. And then last but not least, they have savage founders, meaning these guys are hyper ambitious. These guys want to do much bigger things than email marketing. I love that. I have heard that they're incredible at dev execution. Their product is unbelievable for who it serves, which is e-commerce. All of that combined, that is what savage means in my mind. Um, I'm Adam Robinson, founder and CEO of retention.com. Follow me to watch me build a unicorn in public. Those are the six things that I admire about Klaviyo signing off.